In this video, I'll demonstrate how to perform the inspection, palpation, and range of motion assessment of the TMJ. With my gloves on, first I'll feel for the coronoid fossa, and then I'll go below the chin and feel for the hyoid muscles and the digastric. I'll locate my submental, and then I'll have the patient bite down and clench, and I'll locate the masseters and have them relax. Have them clench down again, and then locate the temporalis. Good. Then I'll feel for the angle of the jaw. And then next I'll evaluate the range of motion. So I'll have him open and close his jaw a couple times for me at about this pace. And I'm looking to see if there's a deviation of the jaw either to the left or to the right. And he'll keep doing that for me. And I'm also looking, listening for any clicks or pops in the jaw joint. And I'll have him go for about maybe two more times. And here I can actually notice that his jaw is moving, deviating towards the left on the open of the jaw. Then I'll go intraorally to locate the pter pterygoid muscles. So I have him open up the jaw for me and keep it there. And I'll go in. I'm going to go in the side of the cheek here, have him open up a little bit more for me until I can locate the pterygoid muscles, which are pretty much at the very, very end here. And they're quite small, and they're going to feel quite pillowy in nature. And then once again, have him open and close the jaw a little bit more for me. And then I'll have him open up the jaw again, and then leave it there, and then I'll feel for the right pterygoid muscles. They are quite small here, and they're quite, they can be quite sensitive, so be careful. And you'll locate the pterygoid muscles pretty much in between the sets of the teeth.